some questions and conjectures consider the relationship between two variables, how one affects the other. And to look at that, we might analyze the correlation between those two variables. And I showed you how to do that in Google Sheets in the previous video. But other questions and conjectures, we might just want to compare two sets of data how big they are and how spread out they are. And we do that using averages and range and standard deviation, and we might draw things like box plots in order to see that visually. And we're gonna look at that in this video. We're gonna do a lot of this in Desmos instead of Google Sheets. We're gonna copy the data across to Desmos because there are some lovely graphs that we can draw in Desmos, and it does it really easily for us. What I've got open here is the sheet for Beijing in 2015, because I want to go on holiday to Beijing next year. I'm just really interested in the place and I want to go and, I want to go and see the city. My availability is that I can go in either May or September. Now I don't cope well in the heat and I want to compare how hot it is in Beijing in May and September in order to inform when I want to go. So we have here, I want to compare the data for May in Beijing and the data for September. As I said, we're going to do this in Desmos because it'll show us a little bit more clearly what's going on. So what I want to do first is copy the data into Desmos. So I'm going to select the mean temperature just for May down to the 31st of May. Control C and then go across to Desmos. We can input a list of data into Desmos just by copying it in, just by pasting it in. I'm going to call this first list M for May. So I've written M equals and then just Control V on my keyboard to paste it in and press Enter. And I have this 31 element list now in Desmos. I can do the same for September. So let's scroll down to September. Here we go and select it. There are only 30 days in September. Control C across to Desmos. I'm going to write S equals and paste it into Desmos. All right, now what can we do with this? We can get some statistics about it by just writing stats open brackets and put M in there and it tells us straight away the minimum, the lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile and the maximum. If we do that for May and September, we can compare those. So we can see, maybe the median is most easily compared, we can see that the median temperature is about one and a half degrees higher in May, not a huge difference there for the median. How about the mean? We could do the mean next, and we do that just by writing mean. We can see how easy it is in Desmos. So the mean in May, the mean temperature in May is 21.5, and the mean in September is 21.03. The mean says that the temperatures are even closer together. The medians said that they were slightly further apart, and the mean so it's slightly closer. Averages are affected in different ways, but I think my understanding from both of those is that the temperatures are very close together. I think I'd benefit from seeing this data on a graph. So let's try and put it here. And we can draw a box plot in Desmos by writing box plot, open brackets, and put M in there. There we go. Oh, no, it's drawn it all the way over here. That's fine, let's just zoom out. And there's my box plot for May. So we can see that it goes between nine and a bit up to 28 in, in May. That's quite a wide range there. And the interquartile range, interquartile range is there and the median's there. Let's compare that to September. So all right, box plot, S, now immediately it, it puts them on top of each other, it draws it in the same place. But if I change this number here, this offset to three, then it'll put it at a height of three instead. And immediately we can see some differences there. So 
so although although we thought the medians were very close together and they are just uh like one and a half degrees we can see that from those box plots how much more spread out the temperatures are in may so if i was deciding to go in may or september i can see that the temperature is not only slightly less in September, it also varies a lot less. So I can be more confident in my assertion that the temperature is going to be slightly lower because it's going to vary between, it's going to vary a lot less. I'm quite happy with those box plots there. Those box plots have convinced me that I'm going to go to Beijing in September instead of May. Hopefully you've seen there how easy it is to copy data across into Desmos and then just write, draw me a box plot and it draws me a box plot. Again, try to apply those same techniques to compare two sets of your own data.